Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So some of you told me that you don't have a clear idea about the scope or you might have forgotten about it. Now, we already studied two graphs. One is distance versus time. Another one is velocity versus time. Okay, velocity versus time is the most frequent one to appear in the exam. So here you can see I have drawn three types of velocity versus time diagram, right? Three types of velocity versus time diagram or it is called VT graph as I have mentioned in the test. Now, if you take a look at this one, what does it tell you? If you increase the time, the velocity will increase or decrease or with time, the velocity is increasing or decreasing or it is not changing at all. What does it tell you? Increasing, sir. Increasing. Increasing, sir. I cannot hear you. Yeah, now. Yeah, that's oh, increasing, sir. Increasing, right. sir. Now, increasing. now I can hear you. So, with the time, the velocity is increasing. So, when? With the increase of the quantity that is along x axis, okay, there is an increase the quantity that is along y axis. So what will happen? It will have a positive slope. Now I didn't show you the details calculation of slope because you will be studying this one in higher math in grade 10 in the coordinate geometry chapter. The equation to calculate the slope is this. Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. Sir, is it, uh, is it important for us? Like in our exam? It will... uh, for now it is not. Because you won't be, uh, you oh. won't be asked to calculate the slope. Actually, uh, uh, did I show you this equation before? No, sir. Okay, no problem. That is why I actually didn't give you any question regarding the calculation of the slope. Okay, I only just told you that when it will be a positive slope, when it will be a negative slope, and I gave you a question based on that. But still, I don't know why you failed to answer. So I think it's better. Um, Okay. Yeah, actually now the zero slope, slope, slope. Sir, slope equal to y2 my y2. What do you write that one? It's not clear. Y2 not clear. Okay, I will write it again. Oh, the clear as sir. Now okay, sir. Okay, slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Okay, I will give you an example, no problem. Now, <clears throat> as I was saying, if you see that there is an increase in velocity with the increase of time, so what is happening? Acceleration is taking place, right? So that is why it will have a positive slope and the acceleration is positive, okay? And here, what you can see, let us compare. At this point, what is the velocity? The velocity is very high, right? At this time, the velocity is very high. But when the time increased, at this time, what is the velocity? The velocity has decreased. Do you notice this one? So as we will go forward, the velocity is decreasing. So when the velocity is decreasing, the acceleration is negative, right? The yes. acceleration is yeah. negative, And as a result, the slope will also be negative negative and here zero slope why zero slope because with time you can see the velocity is neither increasing nor decreasing it is, it is remaining same that means it is the case of uniform velocity when the velocity does not change with respect to time so when the velocity does not change with respect to time we say the acceleration to be uniform velocity uniform or uniform, uniform velocity but what is the value of acceleration Zero. 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 So the slope will also be zero. Always remember these two information, okay? From velocity versus time graph, if I find out the slope, that slope is the acceleration, okay? For velocity versus time graph, okay? I, I think I can erase this one. Yes. So we'll now take. Wait, wait. For velocity versus time graph, if you calculate the slope, that slope is acceleration. 
so you can just ask yourself what will be the value of acceleration for a particular case and depending on that you can say okay the slope is going to be like this and distance versus time graph if you calculate the slope from here that will give you the velocity these things i already told you at the, based on this you should have been able to answer those questions okay acha so uh, as i was saying if the velocity is increasing so it is acceleration and the slope will be positive because acceleration is positive here because velocity increasing here the velocity is decreasing when the velocity is decreasing we call it retardation so for retardation what we know the acceleration is negative right so as a result the slope will also be negative now this is for velocity versus time graph we will see now what will happen in case of distance versus time graph distance versus time graph for distance versus time graph there will be no negative slope actually okay now uh, if you remember there are two types of graph that we discussed about when we studied distance versus time graph that is one will be a straight line another will be a curved line okay so when it is a straight line we used to say that this is the case of uniform velocity i don't know ki the tumar shob ashole gulo revision dao ne bhalo moto এগুলো আমার মনে আছে আমি তোমাদের একটা ডাটা দিয়ে বুঝাইছিলাম যে ইকুয়াল অ্যামাউন্ট অফ টাইম এ ইকুয়াল অ্যামাউন্ট অফ ডিসটেন্স কভার করে এই ঘটনাটা কখন ঘটবে when this will take place when you are having an uniform velocity your velocity is not changing when your velocity is not changing the distance covered by you in the first 1 minute will be equal to the distance covered by you in the second 1 minute also in every minute you will cover equal equal distance because your velocity is same is it is not changing but when your velocity is increasing let us say now you are accelerating and the velocity is changing so when the velocity is changing what will happen let us say at first the your distance will increase was less your velocity was less so in one minute you covered a certain portion of distance but now your velocity has increased within that one minute next within the next one minute you will be able to cover more distance now Do you understand my point? This is the difference yes. between this and this curve. Okay, here equal amount of time, equal yeah. amount of distance, equal amount of time, another equal amount of distance. But here equal amount of time, but different amount of distances you will cover because the velocity is changing. Okay, this is what we already discussed. Sir, why why did you draw the arc from down? So you can draw it from upside also, right? Uh, no, it doesn't happen like that because when you start moving. okay from your initial point that distance keep increasing only the distance does not decrease remember this one with time the distance will increase from your starting point okay yes yeah, sir i understood but why it is in like arc because Can the we... velocity is changing this is what i i wanted to discuss with you right see um <clears throat> if you go through your notes i have explained there with even data with some real data acha here you will see that this is at 5 second the distance covered may be 10 meter then this is at 10 second the distance covered is 20 meter okay so what is happening within the, this is zero point right within 5 second the distance covered is 10 meter within another 5 second the distance covered is another 10 meter okay so equal yes. amount of time equal amount of distance this happens when you have the same velocity so this is the case of uniform velocity uniform velocity, velocity. and also we can say zero acceleration acceleration is not taking place okay because the velocity is remaining same but what is the case here okay at first we will see at 5 second let us say the distance covered is 10 meter no problem then <clears throat> at 10 second the distance covered let us say it is 13 meter okay then oh sorry not 13 meter okay it is correct problem i have to go easily 
and now at 15 seconds the distance covered will be uh, 23 meter now let us look at the distance covered in same amount of time within first 5 seconds i covered 6 meter see prothom 5 second i koto tuku geche 6 meter gelam tar pore 5 second e koto tuku gelam 6 er theke 13 koto beshi 7 beshi na to taile tar pore 5 second e ami geche 7 meter dekho ami age theke ektu beshi distance cover korchi ekhane kintu ami same same distance e cover korte chilam prothom 5 second e tar pore 5 second ta aro 10 same but ekhane first 5 second ami 6 meter jacchi but pore 5 second e ami jacchi 7 meter ektu beshi karon amar velocity ekhon bartese ami ekhon age theke beshi beshi distance cover korte parbo tar pore 5 second e ki hocche abar dekho next 5 second e ami 13 theke 23 tar mane 10 meter distance cover kore felchi why is this happening because my velocity is increasing so here velocity increasing I mean, you have to say that the velocity is increasing and then that means there is an acceleration, right? So, <clears throat> about this, what I can say? That my velocity is increasing. So, uh, remember this one. Whenever I will tell you that the velocity is increasing or I will say that there is an acceleration, remember the distance versus time graph, it will be a curve, not a straight line. But if I tell you that uh, what will be the nature of the graph if uh, I draw a distance versus time graph for uniform velocity, you have to say that this will be a straight line. Okay. These things are there in your notebook. If you check, I believe you will get it. So depending on these only, I gave you the questions. Is there any other question that you would like me to discuss? I, uh, if you want, I may open the question paper itself. You also have the question paper, right? Is there any particular question number that you want me to discuss about? If there is, then you can let me know. Then Fatima, to me, are you talking about the Oh, proportional or inverse proportional? Okay. He's sleeping, I guess. Yes. 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 Just keep the three types of velocity versus time. Question answer night. Ha, ask the response. Kore di so to ekaran ekhon ask bena. score part hai siye. Okhane kiye. Tumra jodi oje view score dao to taile shekhan theke tumra dekhte parbo je kono gula correct hai, kono gula wrong. Ami shobai ke mail part hai siye. Aaja. So I was saying you have to keep in mind three types of velocity versus time diagram. One, when the velocity is increasing with time. That means acceleration positive and slope is also positive. The second case when the velocity is decreasing with respect to time. That means the acceleration is negative or we can say deceleration is taking place or retardation is taking place and the slope will be negative because the acceleration is negative. And then distance versus, uh, sorry, uh, velocity versus time graph, the velocity is not increasing nor decreasing. Okay, it is neither increasing nor decreasing. It is constant. The velocity is remain constant, remaining constant. So as a result, what will happen? There is no acceleration, zero acceleration, and the slope is also zero because I already told you from the velocity versus time graph, if you calculate the slope, that slope is equal to acceleration. Now, why this slope is equal to acceleration? This one actually you will not understand now because you have to get a very clear idea about slope from the coordinate geometry of higher math. Okay. Inshallah, if we meet in grade 10 again, then inshallah, I will be the one who will be teaching you this coordinate geometry. Inshallah. So that time I will show you inshallah. What to acceleration and um, from velocity versus time graph and for distance versus time graph, why the slope is equal to velocity. Okay. Inshallah, we will get to know. 
এটা চাইলে এখনি আসলে আরেকটু যদি টাইম পাইতাম তাহলে আর একটু ডিটেইলস এটা দেখানো যেত বাট সমস্যা হচ্ছে স্যার এটা কি জিরো স্লোপ ফার্স্ট এটা ডিসটেন্স বাই টাইম এটা কি জিরো স্লোপ ডিসটেন্স ভার্সেস টাইম নো স্লো রিমেম্বার জিরো স্লোপ কখন হবে একটু তোমরা ভালোমতো শিখে নাও জিনিসটা যখন এক্স অ্যাক্সিস এর প্যারালাল একটা লাইন হবে না তখন সেটা জিরো স্লোপ কেন বিকজ এটা ওয়াই এক্স অ্যাক্সিস এর সাথে বাড়তেছেও না কমতেছেও না देयर इज নো চেঞ্জ তখন সেটাকে আমরা বলবো এটা জিরো স্লোপ ওকে স্যার ওকে ইয়া বাট হোয়েনেভার देयर इज এন ইনক্রিজ অর ডিক্রিজ নো देयर দা স্লোপ ইজ নট জিরো ইফ ইট ইজ ইনক্রিজিং পজিটিভ স্লোপ বিকজ ইট ইজ ইনক্রিজিং ইফ ইট ইজ ডিক্রিজিং দেন ইট ইজ নেগেটিভ স্লোপ and if it is not increasing or decreasing then it is zero and there is a case when the slope will be infinity oi ta tomader ashole ekhane lagbei na karon oi oi khetre ashole slope line ta ke x x axis er perpendicular ba y er parallel hoyte hoy to ei dhoroner kono case tomader ekhon ashbe na ei karone ami tomader ke eta bole matha kharap korte jacchi na okay so do not focus on this just focus on these types je gulo ami tomader ke dekhaichi so velocity is okay. time graph e tinta type er kotha bollam then tomar mon rakhte hobe distance versus time graph e dui ta type ache ekta hocche when it is a straight line ar ekta hocche eta ekta curve so jokhon eta ekta straight line it is uniform velocity and zero acceleration okay and when it is a curve the velocity is increasing and as a result what will happen the acceleration will take place डिक्रीजी खुब कम डिक्रीजिंग negative very good acceleration will be uh, negative let us say minus negative okay and negative acceleration is also called deceleration or um, a retardation okay so what will happen in the exam you know there will be uh, four option okay four graphs will be there choto choto kore char ta graph deya thakbe ebong tomake bolbe ekhaner moddhe kon case ta te tumi retardation dekhte pao তো তোমার আগে দেখতে হবে কি জানো গ্রাফ টাইপ কি ডিসটেন্স ভার্সেস টাইম গ্রাফ তাইলে রিটারডেশনের জন্য এটা এরকম হবে আর যদি ব্যালেন্স পাওয়ার বুঝুন বুঝে নেই কি এই গ্রাফটা এই এই গ্রাফটা यस ওকে সো ইন দিস গ্রাফ आवर টার্গেট ইজ দ্যাট দ্য ভেলোসিটি ইজ ডিক্রিজিং উই হ্যাভ টু শো দ্যাট ওকে হাউ উই ক্যান শো এট ফার্স্ট for this little amount of time we can see large amount of displacement is taking place now when this will happen when your velocity is high or low maybe amar question ta tumi bujhte paro na ami abar boli choto amount of time e mane within a little amount of time you will be able to cover a large distance when it will happen when your velocity is higher or lower high higher okay so here in at initially your velocity is higher but as the time is increasing you can see that within the same amount of time now you are being able to cover a less distance now when this will happen when your velocity is low or high low low so you agreed that initially our velocity was higher now our velocity is lower 
so that means the velocity is decreasing right it was higher now it is lower so the velocity is decreasing and when the velocity is decreasing the acceleration is negative and we call it deceleration or retardation okay so this is the case of distance versus time graph এই জিনিসটা তোমাদের খেয়াল রাখতে হবে যে গ্রাফটা কিসে সেটা আগে বুঝতে হবে এই ঠিক ভেলোসিটি ডিক্রিজিং এর জন্য আমি যদি ভেলোসিটি ভার্সেস টাইম গ্রাফ আঁকি তাহলে কিন্তু সেটা কি রকম হবে এরকম এই যে উইথ রেসপেক্ট টু টাইম দা ভেলোসিটি ইজ ডিক্রিজিং এটা ডাইরেক্ট ভেলোসিটি এর কারণে ক্লিয়ারলি বোঝা যাচ্ছে দা ভেলোসিটি ইজ ডিক্রিজিং সো এই জিনিসগুলো আসলে মন রাখতে হবে যে ভেলোসিটি ভার্সেস টাইম গ্রাফ হইলে যদি ভেলোসিটি ডিক্রিজিং হয় সেটা দেখতে এরকম হবে আর যদি ডিসটেন্স ভার্সেস টাইম গ্রাফ হয় তাহলে ভেলোসিটি ডিক্রিজিং হলে সেটা দেখতে এরকম হবে একটা কার ওকে তো ডিসটেন্স ভার্সেস টাইম গ্রাফে তো আমরা স্ট্রেট লাইন কখন পাবো যখন এটা ইউনিফর্ম ভেলোসিটি তো এই জিনিসগুলো বারবার রিভিশন দাও বারবার নিজেকে বুঝাও আবার যদি ভুলে যাও তাহলে আবার আমাকে জিজ্ঞেস করার অসুবিধা নেই আমি সবটুকু করব আবার ডিসকাস করার চেষ্টা করব নাও লেট আস মুভ টু দা প্রপোর্শনাল এন্ড ইনভার্সলি প্রপোর্শনাল থিং হুইচ ইউ আর কনফিউজড अबाउट Okay. <clears throat> This is the case we call proportional. Proportional means actually directly proportional. you will make in many places you will see it is mentioned that y is directly proportional to x and what is the case here inversely proportional now what is the difference between them what is the difference between these two type of relation let us try to know whenever i say that y is directly proportional to x that means if i double the amount of x y will also be doubled if i double the amount of x y will also be doubled and here what will take, happen inversely proportional means if i double the amount of x y will be half if i triple the amount of x y will become one third if i uh, make the x four times y will become 1 by 4 times this is the relation between them that means if i increase this amount here this amount will increase but here if i increase one amount the other amount will decrease so for this case the graph is going to be like this and they are going to have a positive slope slope positive why positive slope because you increase one amount the other amount also increases if you increase one amount other amount also increases this is called a positive slope then inversely proportional what we learned from here is if i increase one amount the other amount is decreasing so if this is the case the line is going to be like this if you increase an amount the other amount goes down okay so as a result the slope here is going to be negative okay so this is the two case whenever i say directly proportional you have to understand okay so both of them will increase and uh, if i say inversely proportional you have to understand that if i increase one the other one is going to decrease okay anybody has any doubt no sir okay now i want to discuss with i wanted to discuss with you something that i gave you a video to find the pressure at a point inside a liquid and that video is very clear very clear means it discusses all the things that i wanted to discuss under this topic okay so that is why i requested you to see and give a thumbs up after you have watched but i did not get it from many of you so let me inform you it is my duty to inform you and then whether you will care about it or not that is up to you so i already wrote in the group that this is going to come under uh, 
continuous assessment right so this is going to uh, carry some mark okay whenever i am asking you some question i'm i'm deciding three or four winners every day those are going to be the indication that who is going to get higher marks right so uh, why are why don't you respond when i give such such messages that watch this video and let me know or confirm me after you have watched this video why don't you confirm me the, these are easy marks right because you just watch the video gives a thumbs up and i ask you some question in the class you answer that these are easy marks if you get a uh, good marks from here itself in the main exam okay if even if you do not do well your mark is going to look healthy okay because you already collected some points but if you do not collect some points now what will happen in the exam you will feel pressure that you have to score good to at least pass so please take this seriously okay i want everyone to do do to do good result so please take this continuous assessment then assignment homework these things very seriously okay and try to submit accordingly my duty is to warn you now whether you will become serious or not that is totally up to you after this i won't be you know it, it sometimes it becomes like i'm begging to you that submit the assignment please these boys did not submit these girls did not submit these girl did not yet join the new class so i can only inform you whether you will later act upon it or not that is up to you so from now on actually i have decided uh, i will not be you know giving such messages that submit assignment and all because it is your duty i have posted and i have given a message then you will submit according to your wish okay so if you want to do good result please become serious okay and uh, those who didn't watch the pressure in liquid video yet i request you to see the video and give a thumbs up as uh, in this class we are not going to discuss about it anymore inshallah in the next class we will discuss about it okay so before that class please watch that video so that it is easier for you to understand okay i'm going to explain it anyway okay now if you watch that video it will be good for you you will be able to understand it in the class more easily okay so please go through it thank you very much sir link ta abad diyan link ta link ta abad ditam group the link ase link ase jaga ase okay ase tale thik ase acha onek message dai to paowa gana আর আসলে তো সারা দিন খালি খায় এজন্য আর হোয়াটসঅ্যাপটা ঠিক ওকে ওকে আমি লিংক আবার দিয়ে দিব অসুবিধা নেই ওকে তাহলে তার পাঁচ সময় মেসেজ থাকে ডিসি দেখ আর আবার আমি ওখানে ডিসি দেখ ওকে ওকে তার পাঁচ সময় মেসেজ থাকে কেমন একটু দেখে নিবা ওকে বিকজ পরের ক্লাসে আমরা এটা ডিসকাস করতে যাচ্ছি ওইটাই চ্যাপ্টারের মোস্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট টপিক